Everyone has a different concept and idea of what homelessness is like, a different idea of what it's like being at risk of homelessness. And I think we're all affected by it. And for us to think that, you no, know, it's not my problem, I never thought about it, it's not true. A lot of people don't understand mental health and addiction. I mean, the stigma is being reduced, I think, every day. Um, but there's still many people who um, don't always understand what they're seeing and they don't always know what to do. If you could imagine what it would be like no, not having a family, having no one, and being on your own and coming into a strange place, it's difficult. No one really chooses to be homeless. It's just they don't know what their other options are. We want to just provide them an emergent overnight accommodation, access to showers, a full breakfast in the morning, and a linkage to other service providers. So someone might show up at the door and I would say, hi, my name is Doug, uh, this is the Crash Beds, how can I help you? And at that point we listen to the person's story, try to figure out how we can help them, if we can help them, uh, what services we can connect them with. So right in the, in the moment when I first meet you, I'm still trying to figure out what services I can connect you with to help better your life. So I think what the Crash Bed program provides is, is an opportunity to begin that part of the journey. Out of that, we can start to offer and build things around them. And that's really important because we know there are people that are involved with the police, um, not for the right reasons, but because they have nowhere else to go. Putting someone into the justice system that is suffering from some life challenges such as homelessness, uh, mental health, addictions, or any combination of those tends to exasperate the problem and not solve the problem. Our preference is, is that we can utilize the community uh, services that are provided rather than putting that person into the justice system. Coming in it could be as much as a cup of coffee that somebody will accept from you. It could be a warm blanket. It could be getting that linkage with someone who's going to walk with you. And I think that makes a big difference for people to, to have um, someone walk their walk with them, hear their story, and uh, support them in the decisions that they make. And the idea is we're working towards having clients be successful in their definition. And it's not what I want, it's what do you want? How can I help you get there? We'll walk together until we get to that place where you feel successful. I, I want people to come here, find a place they feel they belong, work with people who feel they understand, and help people find the success they need. Donations are very important to help us operate all of our programs. And uh, there are so many different kinds of things that people can, can donate, whether it's goods and services, maybe it's volunteering their time, maybe it is a cash donation for a very specific purpose. We all believe everybody uh, deserves a job, a home, and a friend. And so finding from someone from street to home is the goal. That's what we really want to encourage people to obtain, but it also has to be their goal as well, not just what we think they should do. And so that's why we walk the journey with our clients.